There are so many beauty products trending on the internet, but how in the world do you know which ones actually work? We're going to reveal which ones are worth the buzz or if they're just a flat out bust. And Dr. Batra is going to cover two different trends. What's so the first you one? You were asking the question, how do we know? It's easy. We have Dr. Batra. Aw, thank you. Well, this one, the first one, is a trend online among a lot of beauty bloggers where this magic pink substance that we all have in our medicine cabinets for upset stomachs yeah. is now being used and painted on the face as a mask to increase glow, to unclog pores, to help with acne. And it's being touted because it has salicylic acid, which is a beta hydroxy acid often used in acne remedies. It has bismuth salts, which actually decrease oiliness. So a lot of the online bloggers are huge proponents of this. So what do you think I'm gonna say? I think you're going to say bust. Yes, so you know me well. I'm gonna call this one a bust only because while it does have some, <laughs> thank you. While it does have some ingredients that are found in common salicylic acid acne remedies, it's not really formulated for your face. This was really meant to be drunk. We've all had that black tongue that comes from drinking this. It can certainly cause reactions. This, I think there's so many inexpensive, really well-formulated products. Makes poop black too. That it does, yeah. 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 So it, it certainly, while it has some appealing qualities in theory, I'm gonna call this one a bust. I might just add also that any product you apply to your skin that has salicylic acid, it can get absorbed and Interestingly enough, if you're doing it all the time over and over again to wide areas of your body, you can actually absorb enough mm -hmm. aspirin, which is essentially what salicylic acid is, mm -hmm. that it can become toxic. Yeah, and no, people don't realize that. How, how about the trick uh, mashing up aspirin mm -hmm. and putting a little bit of that powder on, on uh, a pimple? So that is, that is an old trick, and right. it's, it is a great anti-inflammatory. That's how we know that it kind of calms things down right away. But again, it's gonna irritate some people. So when, again, there's so it's many really well-formulated, yeah. well-tested products that are on the market for this, maybe not a great one to multitask or multipurpose. Gotcha. So, yes. All right, I'm so gonna bring the, the next, next what, what do I have here? So the next one we have here is stainless steel soap. And so if you've been online, you've probably heard this being touted as everything from an odor remover for garlic and onions and fish to an antibacterial. So there are all these online blogs that are saying, throw out your antibacterial, just use stainless steel, it lasts, it's gonna work. And I will say that the one thing this does probably have some good science behind is actually for removing garlic odor. So we know that the ions on the surface of the stainless steel will bond to the sulfides in the garlic. And if you were to rub your hands with this after maybe chopping garlic, it probably would help remove the scent. But it doesn't work for every scent and certainly does not have antibacterial properties. So I'm going to call this one a bust too, only because it's being over touted. Really? Yeah. See, I would have guessed that you would have said a buzz on this, but. I like it for the garlic odor, and it will work, but I think. So you could keep it around just for the garlic. For sure. How about cool. on Fido, on dog? In terms of. Can you use this on your pet? I think that is officially the weirdest question anyone's <laughs> ever asked on the show. Can I use this on my dog? Well, why not? No, We're I'm talking sure about odors. Thank you. Can you? Yeah. That was not such a, a a weird transition question. She says it's not for people. No, it may help with the garlic. I mean. I, I will say, yeah, if your dog is covered in garlic, I would, yeah, I'm just having fun with you. How about if the dog just, gets sprayed with a, just, with, with, with a skunk? All right, we're, no, that we're, would put it to the test.